This is my conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktiv Don Swami, Prabhupada. I met him in February 1972 in Mayapur, India. I was invited to see him. He asked me to be seated and then asked how I was and whether I had any questions. He could answer my questions because he represents a disciplic succession of spiritual masters. I had approached a guru or spiritual master in the prescribed way by submissively asking questions about spiritual life. So he seemed pleased with me and over the next several days he answered my questions. His answers were logical, scientific, satisfying and amazingly lucid. Srila Prabhupada understood my every inquiry and answered perfectly. What is the meaning of name Krishna? Krishna means all attractive. All attractive? Yes. So unless God is all attractive, how can he be God? A man is important when he is attractive. Is it not? It is so. But why only the name Krishna? Because Krishna means all attractive. It includes everything. Everything. He must be very beautiful. He must be very wise. He must be very powerful. He must be very famous. Is Krishna attractive to rascals? Oh, yes! Are there some people who do not find Krishna attractive? No, all people will find him attractive. People who do wrong in life to gain power, prestige or money may find Krishna unattractive. Because God gives him guilt. If a person wants to become rich, praise to Krishna to make him rich. It means he is still attracted by Krishna. Krishna is all-powerful, he can make him rich. If someone lives an evil life, but prays to Krishna to become rich, may he still become rich? Yes, praying to Krishna is not evil. Api chet satu arakaro, satu eva samantavya. As soon as he begins to pray to Krishna, that is not evil. Swamiji, what is a scientist? A scientist means one who is supposed to know things correctly. A scientist means one who knows things as they are. I am presently a science teacher. Yes, teaching. But unless you have perfect knowledge, how can you teach? Without perfect knowledge, though, you can teach. That is cheating, that is not teaching. Just like the scientists say, there was a chunk, and the creation took place. Perhaps, maybe. What is this? But I can teach, up to the point, I know. Yes, that is cheating. One cannot, teach the truth, with partial knowledge. A human being has, imperfect senses, so how can he teach, perfect knowledge? Suppose you see the sun, as a disc. You have no means, to approach the sun. You say that, we can see sun by telescope but it is also made by you and you are imperfect so how can your machine be perfect therefore your knowledge of the sun is imperfect so don't teach about the sun unless you have perfect knowledge that is cheating Krishna is the greatest scientist he knows everything sun is Krishna's energy Bhumir, Abo, Analo, Vayu, this Analo is heat the sun is the representation of the heating energy of Krishna. No one can claim the sun is made by me. But Krishna says that he did. My energy. So we believe Krishna. Therefore we are Krishnaites. Krishnaites. Yes, and therefore our knowledge is perfect. Mayavadi says, if Krishna is creating everything, then Krishna's separate identity is lost. Just like milk, if I drink a little by little, then it will finish. But Krishna is not like that. This is material thinking. Krishna is omnipotent. A crude example, a man begets hundred children, but the man is still there. It's not that he has produced hundreds of children, he is finished. No, poor Nesha Purnam, 
Adae Pornam, Evavasa Sete. Because, he is the complete whole, even though, so many complete units emanate it from him, he remains the complete balance. This is, Krishna Consciousness. My soul, is different from, your soul? Yes, you are an individual soul, and I am, an individual soul. You have removed yourself, from karmic influences. If I were to remove myself, from karmic influences, would our souls be the, same or different? The soul, is of the same quality in all. If two people are Krishna conscious, is their soul, the same? The soul is always the same, but always individual. Even if, one is not Krishna conscious. For instance, you are a human being, and I am a human being, even if I am not Christian, even if you are not Hindu, still we are human beings. Similarly, the soul may not be Krishna conscious, or, he may be Krishna conscious, it does not matter. But the soul is the soul. Can you tell me more about this? Yes! Soul, as pure spirit, all souls are equal, even in an animal. Therefore it is said, Pandita, Sama, Darsana. Those who are actually learned, do not see the outward covering, either in a human being, or in an animal. The devotees have told me, you cannot be happy, without consciousness of Krishna, but at times I feel happy. At times, not always. But if you become, Krishna conscious, you will feel happy, always. They have implied that, you cannot feel happy, without Krishna consciousness. That is a fact. For example, if you are an animal of land, and you are, thrown into water, you cannot be happy, in the water, in any condition. When you are, again taken up to the land, then you will be happy. Similarly, we are part and parcel of Krishna, we cannot be happy without acting as part and parcel, of Krishna.